Lots of intrepid sceptics decided to go to uh, the Mind, Body and Spirit Festival. So we had a number of us head away to the, to the, to the festival this weekend to see what we could find out and to, um, to, to, uh, to understand what it's all about. It was, it was a festival I've never been involved in. It happens every, every uh, year in Cork City Hall and it's attended by quite a, quite a number of different people. Um, it's, um, it, it's, uh, there's quite a number of different stands as well, um, and we have a couple, a couple of different photographs. I don't know if you can see that too well. This is a crystal stand where people are selling medicinal crystals, all sorts of different beautifully coloured rocks, um, and uh, ma making it to different prices. You can see there the prices are actually quite, quite nice, 25 euros for that. That's pretty good. Um, we have a Darth Vader chair there. Um, <laughs> Um, meant to, um, you know, if you, if you sit on it, you'll get a very nice back rub, and uh, I'm not sure what else. Um, there's, uh, this is the, um, what was it again, Alan? Aura Soma. The Aura Soma. So these are di different types of uh, coloured liquids that are meant to give you, um, that are meant to, to, to heal you and meant to make you feel uh, a lot better. And again, you can buy all of those various different bottles, lovely little colours that, that, will, that will catch you going. Incidentally, um, there was also a solution for um, anti-snoring, which is something I'm very interested in because I'm a terrible snorer. Um, so you had, a, you had a bottle on one side, you have to put a bottle on one side of the bed and then a bottle on the other side of the bed. You open it just before you go to, you, you go to, to sleep and there's this smell of lavender and I don't know what it is, another smell of, I don't know, rocket fuel is on the other side of the bed. And literally, you know, the smell is so bad, you couldn't possibly sleep. So yes, it does, you know, it, it definitely... Um, it definitely cures snoring. There's no doubt about it, you know. And it was 25 euros, 25 euros for, for, the, for the set. I mean, this is great, you know. Um, the, 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 um, we also had chiropract chiropractors there as well. And, um, uh, what, you know, one of the funny things that I found about the whole the Mind, Body and Spirit Festival is that, is that you had people there kind of going, you know, because the, the festival has loads of psychics. It's got psychic mediums all the way down both sides of the of the the, the aisle it, it's got um, it's got people who are into angel healing as well so the idea is that um, I can't really get this right but you, you you have a book and you're meant to pray on the book and then open it on a particular page and the angel will tell you something um, and that's basically your guidance and then there was there was other people um, who uh, were talking about, um, what was it, the, the, the kind of um, electro, electroshock therapy, there was a whole um, stand on that, there was Scientologists <coughs> in another part of, the, of the, uh, the, the exhibit, and there was loads of faith healers and, and the likes, um, Reiki, all of that kind of stuff. But there was, there, there was, you know, they were all kind of going, you know, um, yeah, well, we're here, you know what I mean, but, but we're not as weird as all the rest of them, you know what I mean? <laughs> we're still, kind of, yeah, well, we're, you know, we're, we're kind of, we're doing our thing, but, you know, don't, don't be listening to the people down there, you know. They were all kind of defending their patch. And it was kind of interesting, you know, chiropractic is, is one of those kind of ones that, that kind of um, lie. It certainly does, it certainly when it comes to kind of, you know, strange beliefs, you have, you know, angel healing and you've got this on one side, one end of the spectrum, and you've got kind of, you know, uh, you know natural medicine on the other. And chiropractic is kind of one of these things that, that, that you know, kind of flirts on, you know, trying to help people and trying to kind of massage people and stuff like that. And it also flirts very, very much with kind of more bizarre ideas like uh, infant colic and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm not sure how, they were, how, how happy they were to be in the same place where you were kind of, you know, you had angel healers and stuff like that going on. We, we had, um, there was quite a number of different, um, uh, different lectures going on during it at the same time as well, which I thought was just, um, you know, quite bizarre. You had many lives, many lovers. I mean, we should, should have just gone to that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Tantra, you know, well, you know, that's... Uh, um, working directly with God, um, you, you had um, ancestral family healing, quite a lot of sh shamans as well. You know, one guy would, you know, he had bowrons and banging the drums and stuff like that, and they were all dancing around in little teepees and stuff like that, you know. So, so yeah, it was, I definitely recommend people to go and see this, uh, to, go and see, to go and see it the next time. But it's <coughs> expensive. I mean, like every single psychic reading was probably 50 euros a pop. And every single one of them, there was lines of people all lining up to have their, um, to their, their, uh, their 
their fortunes being told, which, which, you know, I just wonder, was there somebody who came in with 150, you know what I mean, went to one psychic healer and then compared it to the next one and compared it to the next one, you know, did a scientific experiment to see if they all correlated with each other. Um, so we also, as I said, we, all, we had Scientology as well. I don't know if you've heard of this group, Anonymous, um, who, uh, who were trying to uh, um, identify. And, and they actually had, we've, we've got some flyers here, so you're more than welcome to take a look at some of this uh, some of this stuff before we uh, we uh, throw it in the bin. Um, the um, but we had <laughs> we we had um, some very strange stuff. I mean, you know, um, really all about ADHD. And and uh, I have the the um, the flyer, and it's got all these experts and all these scientists, and they're the most evil looking scientists you can possibly imagine. They're all there going, hey, we want to get we want to get our hands on your kids and stuff like that. And um, the whole thing, that whole stand was re re quite weird because they didn't call themselves the Church of Scientology, they didn't call themselves anything like that. They called themselves Concerned Citizens for Human Rights, or, or I'm not sure, but you, you wouldn't have seen the word Scientology anywhere in, the, um, you know, in, in their material or anything like that. So it was, it was, uh, it was quite, quite strange. I mean, like, you, know, um, you know, if people were, were coming, they might think this is a very, very legitimate organisation indeed. Um, oh yeah, this is probably the best one. This is um, a whole your you, um, aromatherapy group. Um, they call themselves Unicorn Aromatherapy. I just go great. You know that is exactly the name that they should be giving their stuff. You know, um, uh, and it was it was uh, we have we have we've some flyers. We've some some stuff from them as well. Um, from uh, the uh, from Unicorn Aromatherapy. Uh, I think, what what was the, the the weird one that you saw, Alan? The um, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, apart from everything, yeah. <laughs> oh, taro, taro oil, yeah. So the, the, the aroma of taro, yeah. Okay, yeah. 